Finding the best settings for your 3D printer for any given filament is a royal pain. I have a quick tip for you today that might save you a little bit of filament and some frustration. So one of the projects that I'm working on is Edward Elric's auto mail arm. You can see some of my test prints here. The very first one, the issue I ran into was the filament was still too melty at the corners. These are supposed to be nice curves and instead they are icky blobs. The best way to compare different settings and the changes that they create is to do test prints. You can then adjust one variable at whatever fixed interval and compare the results. So I did a square or a cube, I suppose, that's a spiralized single wall that just continuously goes all the way around. So I adjusted those settings. I found the perfect temperature and fan speed, all of these settings. And let me tell you what, I created some very, very nice squares. They were strong and smooth. So then I took those perfect settings and applied them to my Edward Elric arm plate model. And this is not that test print because the test print I did with those settings was a complete failure. It made it mm, maybe like four millimeters and then I had to cancel it because nothing was sticking. It was just spaghetti. So then I had to go back to testing it the way I was previously, which is just on the smaller part here. I adjusted, in this case, the fan settings, tested the strength and the smoothness and all that. I was able to find settings that worked and I've got some finished pieces here that with a limited amount of support structure has a very nice curve here that will be easy to break off the support and sand. The surface finish is quite smooth. There's just gonna be a little bit of sanding just to get that perfect glassy finish that I'm going for with this armor. But here's the thing, all that time that I spent creating those perfect squares was completely wasted. So the moral of the story is choose a test printing subject that offers challenges similar to those that your printer and slicer will face in the final project. If you are printing something that is square in a single spiralized wall, then by all means do the tiny little spiralized square. But if you're printing something that's curved in a certain wall thickness or whatever those general specifications are, then choose or create a small test print that will offer those same challenges and give you a better representation of what the settings do with that filament in that type of pattern that the printer is going to be creating. Once I found the right settings for this type of piece, of course it works for the smaller one or this larger one here that has a slightly different shape because the challenges, again, are similar between these two pieces. Sure, it would be great to be able to just find settings that work on any design with any filament, but that just isn't how it works. You're gonna have to do some experimentation, but be smart about it. Choose your test subject based on what you're going to be printing. Otherwise, those perfect settings you find may not in fact work for the piece you are trying to print. I hope that this little cautionary tale helps you to find your project's ideal printer settings more quickly and with less wasted filament.